What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sayushi and this is going to be the first of hopefully many tutorials for Tower of Fantasy. Today we're going to be talking about this vehicle and where you can end up getting the parts for it. This is the Omnium Beast 7. So the color of the default version of this mount is going to be the gray and then as you end up maintaining it and leveling it up, which is something that you end up unlocking by being at the right level, uh, then you can end up unlocking all of these different colors and so on and so forth. But how do you end up actually getting the mount? Well, first and foremost, you're going to have to go through the story a little bit until you end up having the photo surfboard thing it's pretty obvious you know there's going to end up being the starting island uh, and then you have to surf across to the second island so for starters we're going to actually be right down here on the southern part uh, there is going to end up being this fast travel point as well, and then there's going to end up being this locked door with a chest. Now, depending on how recent your account is, uh, you might actually have that chest within the barrier locked, uh, and then there's going to end up being the password right here. So you, you might have to wait a couple days is my point. This is what the password is going to end up being. Normally, you can end up discovering it by talking to a bunch of robots that are kind of just hidden throughout the complex. So like, here's one of them and so on. Uh, that's going to be where you'll get one of the parts of the mech. So then coincidentally, if we come right back over to the fast travel point, there's going to end up being an enemy down here. Uh, the Berserker. So this guy right here, if you ever see this guy, or the Behemoth, sorry, not Berserker, uh, this guy is going to end up having a very, very rare chance, and I want to stress that. It took me about, like, around two hours, and I got pretty lucky with it, uh, but it's going to end up being a random drop chance out of this guy, and I'm going to kind of show you the route that a friend of mine ended up showing me, shout out to Xiao, uh, where you can end up fighting quite a few of these guys in rapid succession. So as soon as you end up defeating that one right there, you're going to end up breaking out your surfboard. And then there's going to end up being another one right here over on the beach. So just for a point of reference, this is where we fought the first one. And then you just come down the beach to this location right here. And then we're going to end up fast traveling right up here. And you're going to immediately turn around and start climbing up this mountain. Now, if you have the grappling hook, which is quite far in the main story, then that's awesome. If you don't, you're just going to have to climb up this mountain manually. But once we end up coming all the way to the top, there's going to end up being another behemoth right over there. So then we're going to be over here at this fast travel point and there's going to end up being one actually pretty much where my icon is showing right over there uh, now something I want you guys to keep in mind as we travel over to this guy is the first three behemoths that we ended up fighting those will probably end up being enough for you. I rarely found myself having to come over to this location to fight this guy because it's so out of the way. And by the time I did one, two, three and defeated the third one, I could actually go back to the first starting one and he would already have respawned. But now we're going to fast travel over here so we can get the final part of the mount. So if we end up heading to the left of this fast travel point off into the ocean here, and then we end up getting out our surfboard, we're gonna head over to this oil refinery. And of course, when you get here, this place is going to end up being barriarized. But in order to enter it, you're going to talk to the hyena guard. Of course, I've already completed this part of the quest, so he's just going to let me in. But you're going to talk to him and say this specific sequence uh, of conversation with him. That's actually going to start a hidden quest line where the game isn't going to tell you, but you want to end up going back over here to Banjas, uh, and you're going to end up looking for this robot right over here. And when you end up interacting with him, you'll be able to end up progressing the quest line so that you can end up going all the way back to that location. Uh, and then you can end up having the proper response to the hyena member so that you can end up entering the compound. And then you're just looking for this legendary chest up at the top, and that's where you're going to end up getting the last piece of the puzzle. Then you'd end up going to the vehicle menu and clicking on the Omnium Beast and you can just activate it. And yeah, the mount doesn't really have any advantages over any others. It's just cosmetic, but God, does it look cool, right? So that's going to end up being how you end up getting it. 